What's up you guys, it's Rob here. Today I'm going to be going over ticker symbol PLTR, Palantir Technologies. We will be going this going over this on a daily, weekly, and monthly time frame in anticipation for tomorrow's trading day, April 6, 2021. I'm also going to be covering a news catalyst for Palantir because it was this was actually quite pivotal and I think we'll probably start driving the movement upwards and bring us in the bull bring us into bullish territory really and start moving the stock back up hopefully and retesting our all-time highs i would personally really like to see that as a palantir holder so let's actually hop on over and talk about that news catalyst so palantir was selected by the national nuclear security administration for a five-year 89.9 million dollar contract for the safer project so if you don't know much about Palantir, they've really, the huge thing with Palantir is they've been getting a lot of contracts with the government. So they're really working with the government and their whole thing is designed pretty much designed with, well, here, we can just talk about this. So for safer, Palantir will configure and configure a common operating picture that will integrate data and allow the NNSA to measure health and safety programs across the organization and provide timely insights in the data. The program will give the NNSA staff the ability to track the trend, query, analyze, visualize safety metrics from different sites across the country. Palantir software allows for the integration of data across the enterprise regardless of data type or source stream and its granular security model is uniquely suited for the NNSA to collaborate across its site securely. So really with Palantir, they're a large data company that looks to integrate and looks to kind of the best way that I can think of it is almost like risk mitigation. So giving you all the information that you possibly can to make accurate decisions and know where your risk lie within the company kind of thing so really this is a huge thing for palantir because this is yet another government contract that they won and was part of the bullish action that we saw in today today when this contract was awarded to them so and the other thing that i want to go over while we're sitting here on the internet is let's go over the short interest and look at the short volume and all that kind of stuff. So the short volume ratio for Palantir today was around 21%. You have 7.6 million shares short that are available and the borrow fee is 0.25%. Really what this tells me right away is that Palantir is not really a shorted company or if it is a shorted company, there's not a lot of people really shorting it because that borrow fee is 0.25%. That's pretty much next to nothing so the next thing that i want to take a look at it's more of a fundamental aspect but is looking at insider trading and understanding if there was any insider trades that were done today because unfortunately palantir has done a lot of insider trading and really from a public perspective this is kind of frowned upon because most of the insiders and executives and directors and officers and all those kinds of positions you really don't want them to be selling their shares because in the public eye that kind of looks like are you losing faith in the company like are are you just in this for the money or like what's going on here kind of thing like why are you selling your shares kind of thing what is the driver behind this because if you're selling then i should can be considering selling my position so really the last time that palantir had two insider tradings was on the 31st so this is good news for the stock overall that no one has really decided to trade on the inside. So from a fundamental aspect, good news, news catalyst, we got a good news kind of thing. So let's go ahead and hop over here and do some technical analysis on Weeble. Um, you can do me a favor, drop a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, really helps me out, ring the bell, do all those kinds of things. It helps support the channel and helps me get a greater and better presence here on YouTube. And then also I am using Weeble. That's the trading platform that I'm using here. If you do want to join Weeble, there is a link down in the description of this video. It is an affiliate code for me to support the channel. So when you join Weeble, you get one free stock for joining in your account being approved. And then you also get a second free stock for depositing $100 on the platform. And those two free stocks can be valued anywhere it's between $10 and $1,600. And if you do use my referral link, I want you to drop a comment down below and let me know what you get because I'm honestly curious to see what, what's in this pool. So 
but anyways sales pitch and all that kind of stuff is over let's go ahead and dive in here so really when we're taking a look at palantir the huge thing that we know is we had that news catalyst which really drove up the price action but we really weren't able to hold this price action up because honestly we aren't really trading on much volume right now for the stock we were trading at 65 million the whole entire day versus a normally we're seeing of 85 so it's we're a little bit volume deprived here but the huge thing was is this 2356 has been a like absolute magnet for palantir every single time we see him the break above it we always find some way to come back touch it break through it and then try to retest it and then we end up breaking through it and then we consolidate a little bit like we did here during the later part of the day and then unfortunately we broke back through it, it this line like palantir like if on any given day i had to guess where palantir would be i would guess around this price point because the stock always just seems to be stuck here for some reason lately i don't know why it is it, i don't know why i wish i knew why because it really is driving me crazy that we're not seeing 25 but let's hop out here to the five day 30 minute chart and take a look at it so we gotta take a breath here okay all right, so we got to remember on the 30th, we were trading around $20 on Palantir, and then we had a really nice bullish day here on the 31st, and then really we had a pullback day on April Fool's Day, and then we had another bullish day today followed by a sell-off because we just weren't able to hold any really support line. We just sold all the way through and then break down, broke down through that 2356 support. So really when we take a look at it from a technical perspective the macd definitely says we are in very bearish territory because we have the macd crossing over the signal and then we're about to drop below the equilibrium the rsi is sitting at 47.50 so we're sitting just a hair below neutral and then we when we look at it on a one month let's look at it on a four hour perspective we're looking we're seeing a little bit more of bullish territory kind of here and when we look at the rsi we're sitting at at 54.96 versus 47 and then actually the macd it, instead of being bearish it's actually bullish here and we just crossed over the equilibrium and we're not overextended really with macd which is great so really from a micro perspective we look like we're in bearish ter territory but really when we pull back a couple days from a macro perspective and look at the big picture we're definitely in very bullish territory and i think given the news catalyst of palantir winning this contract and the greater market correction being over with and the market getting back up on its feet and moving i think palantir personally i'm looking for it, it tomorrow my prediction for tomorrow is for it to test 2356 and then hopefully we can break through 2356 and then hold it for a respectable period of time and then break up and honestly i really would hope for us to break through 24 dollars and break up to 25 dollars and test that psychological resistance at 25 dollars we did touch 24.45 today so 25 dollars really isn't out of the realm but if i wanted to be more conservative i would say okay let's see if we can test 24.50 tomorrow as a resistance level and see if we can hold that or at least if we can touch it and then bounce off of it and get rejected so but that's all i got for you guys today if you can just do me a favor hit that like button for the youtube algorithm hit that subscribe ring that bell and then like i said we will link is down below. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.